In Phoenix, Arizona, a routine police encounter escalated into a disturbing incident of alleged excessive force against a deaf man. The incident, captured on body cam footage, has ignited outrage and calls for accountability. The footage reveals a disturbing scene where a deaf man, later identified as Tyron McAlpin, is subjected to physical force by Phoenix police officers. The incident has sparked a wave of anger and concern, raising questions about police conduct, disability rights, and the use of force. The incident has reignited the national conversation about police brutality and the treatment of individuals with disabilities by law enforcement. The Phoenix Police Department has launched an internal investigation into the incident while community members and advocacy groups demand justice and systemic change. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the importance of police training, accountability, and the need for greater understanding and empathy towards individuals with disabilities. The body cam footage released to the public provides a disturbing glimpse into the interaction between McAlpin and the Phoenix police officers. The footage shows McAlpin, who is deaf, being confronted by officers. It appears that there is a communication barrier from the outset as McAlpin is unable to hear or understand the officer's commands. Despite his visible distress and attempts to communicate his deafness, the situation escalates rapidly. The footage captures the officers using physical force against McAlpin, including punches and tasers. Witnesses can be heard in the background expressing concern and pleading with the officers, stating that McAlpin is deaf. The release of the body cam footage has sent shockwaves through the community and beyond, raising serious concerns about the officers' conduct and the department's training protocols. The incident unfolded when officers responded to a call about an alleged altercation involving McAlpin. Upon arriving at the scene, officers encountered McAlpin, who was already visibly agitated. Due to his deafness, McAlpin was unable to understand the officer's verbal commands, leading to a critical communication breakdown. Witnesses at the scene attempted to inform the officers of McAlpin's deafness, but their pleas seemed to go unheeded. The officers, seemingly unaware or dismissive of McAlpin's disability, perceived his inability to comply with their commands as non-compliance. This misinterpretation led to the officers resorting to physical force, escalating the situation from a communication breakdown to an unnecessary and brutal use of force. The incident highlights the devastating consequences that can occur when law enforcement fails to recognize and accommodate disabilities during interactions with the public. Section 4. Legal and Ethical Concerns, Failure to Accommodate Disability and Potential Bias The incident involving McAlpin raises serious legal and ethical concerns. Firstly, the officer's failure to recognize and accommodate McAlpin's deafness raises questions about their adherence to the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA. The ADA mandates that law enforcement agencies provide reasonable accommodations to individuals with disabilities, ensuring equal access to justice and protection under the law. Secondly, the incident has sparked allegations of potential bias and discrimination. Some critics argue that the officer's treatment of McAlpin may have been influenced by conscious or unconscious biases related to race or disability. The incident fuels the ongoing national conversation about systemic racism and implicit bias within law enforcement agencies. Section 5. Public Outcry and Calls for Accountability the release of the body cam footage sparked immediate public outcry and calls for accountability. Community members, advocacy groups, and national organizations have condemned the officers' actions demanding justice for McAlpin and systemic changes within the Phoenix Police Department. Protests and demonstrations have been organized calling for the involved officers to be held accountable and for comprehensive police reform. The public outcry extends beyond Phoenix, igniting a national conversation about the urgent need for police reform disability awareness and de-escalation training. The incident serves as a stark reminder that law enforcement agencies must prioritize communication, empathy, and respect for all individuals regardless of their abilities or disabilities. Section 6. The Urgent Need for Police Reform and Disability Awareness The incident involving Tyron McAlpin underscores the urgent need for comprehensive police reform and increased disability awareness within law enforcement agencies across the nation. It highlights the critical importance of training officers to effectively communicate with 
and de-escalate situations involving individuals with disabilities. This includes recognizing the signs of a disability, adapting communication methods, and employing de-escalation techniques that prioritize the safety and well-being of all individuals involved. Furthermore, the incident underscores the need for greater accountability and transparency within law enforcement. This includes independent investigations of all use of force incidents, particularly those involving individuals with disabilities. It also requires a commitment to addressing systemic issues such as implicit bias, racial profiling, and the over-policing of marginalized communities.